Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be doing something really special. In my previous video, I taught you guys how to do a crow pose. So today we are basically going to learn how to fly into a crow pose. So there are three steps to this process and why don't we go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. And then to start, we are going to come into our tabletop hands and knees. So this is a lot for your wrists. So to begin, we're going to just open up our wrists. So gently just rocking forward and then gently rocking back, pushing your fingertips down towards the earth. So rocking forward again, maybe dropping your thighs down, opening up your chest if possible as you exhale, push it back. One more time, just like this, gently rock forward and then push it back. From here, tabletop, hands and knees, slowly turn your fingers to either side of your yoga mat. Gently just rock your shoulders from side to side. And you're just basically transferring weight from one wrist to another. And which is uh, exactly what we're gonna be doing when we come to crow pose. Um, so just taking your time to explore your wrist. And then from here, if you want, you can slowly just Make circle, moving one way two times or three times, mm -hmm. and then just making sure you switch direction. One, two, and one more time. Okay. So from here, coming into your neutral tabletop hands and knees, gently go ahead and tuck your toes. Lift your knees all the way up, coming into your downward facing dog. With your downward facing dog, inhale, reach your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, open up your right hip. And then turn your chest down, draw your belly towards your spine so your core is activated. From here, gently bring your right knee towards your chest. Hug that right knee in and gently step your right leg in between your hands. From here, long spine, so press your right heel back so your right quadricep is lifted. From here, gently drop your back knee down, untuck your back toe, and then straighten up your front leg. Make sure you bring your chin towards your chest. Two more times, just like this. Inhale, open up. As you exhale, round. One more time, inhale, open up. As you exhale, round. From here, just coming into your um, runner's lunge, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee up. From here, right palm is gonna come flat on the earth. You're gonna come onto the razor edge of your back leg, and then you're gonna bring your left leg to the midline of your mat, to your core right in front of your left hip if possible. When you come in here, this might be a lot for you. If that's the case, you want to stay here, practice this for a while. When you do this, press that pinky edge of your back leg, which is your right leg, and try not to dump your weight down, just like this. Because when you do this, <laughs> you're not engaging your core, and you're dumping everything on the floor, and then the floor is sort of pulling you down. Instead, you want to be stronger than that, so press down, to lift up. So when you come here, we're gonna do a couple of the drills to just strengthen our core overall and also have that feeling of rounding um, as we come into our crow pose. So just trying to press this stuff. From here, what we're gonna do is press that palm firmly down. Make sure your shoulder is right on top of that wrist. For three times, you're gonna bring your right knee to your chest. Take it all the way back. Every time you come back, make sure you're in your proper alignment. Two more times, right knee towards your chest. Take it back. One more time, right knee towards your chest. And then take it back. That would be option. Um, that would be, let's say, step one. So from here, gently just tap your knee down. And tap your other knee down, just coming onto your shins. And then your right wrist is doing a lot at this point, so you just want to. Stretch your right wrist. You can also stretch your left wrist. You can just stretch the back of your hand and do the same thing on the left side. So the one that we did before, that was step one. We're gonna move into step two. So step two is basically, again, you're coming into that runner's lunge. Left leg forward, right leg goes back. Right hand down, coming onto the razor edge of your back leg. 
you're gonna come into your horizon lunge, press down and lift up. So I'm gonna repeat step one one more time. You're bringing your knee, right knee towards your chest and then taking it back. That was step one. Step two is basically, again, lifting your hips up. You're trying to bring your right knee closer towards your right tricep. If you can tap it, perfect. If you're not, you're gonna work towards it. So you're using your core strength to do that. So bringing your right knee to tap your right tricep, take it back. Two more times, just like this. Tap it, take it back. One more time, tap it, take it back. And from here, gently tap your right knee down, left knee down. You're gonna wanna stretch your wrist out. Just breathe in and breathe out. Make sure you also stretch the back of your hands when you do this. One of my favorite wrist work is to just roll my wrist out, maybe doing a little bit more on your right because your right hand is doing a lot for you at this moment. And make sure you just switch the direction. Okay, so now we're gonna fly. I'm gonna teach you how to fly into your crow pose. So I'm gonna re repeat step one, step two, and I'm gonna teach you how to do step three, which we're gonna fly into your crow pose. So step one, Basically coming into your runner's lunge on your left leg, right hand down, coming onto the pinky edge of your back leg, left leg to the midline, coming into your horizon lunge. Step one, right knee towards your chest, take it back, make sure your hip is lifted. Step two, right knee to your right tricep, tap it, take it back. Now step three is basically, you're gonna fly into the uh, crow pose. So you're basically gonna bring your left hand down. Make sure your right hand is down as well, but it's like a little, um, it's, so your wrist is underneath your shoulders. You wanna bend your elbow. So from here, your chest is turning down and you're gonna bring your right knee to your right tricep or outside your arm, which one feels better for you. You're gonna look forward. You're gonna bring your other leg on top. and basically gonna fly into your crow pose. So I'm gonna show that one more time for you. And again, make sure to roll your wrist out. So this is definitely a harder way to come into a crow pose because you're flowing into a crow. But the more you practice, the better you get. And one thing about practicing is like every time you practice, you sort of wanna explore how your body moves and what your body is trying to tell you. So that is everything um, what yoga wants to do in your body. You're basically exploring everything, right? Mind, body, soul, all of that. So we're gonna do that one more time. Again, gonna repeat everything. So coming onto your runner's lunge on your left side, right leg back, press that right heel back, chest going forward, hip going back, right hand down, coming onto the razor edge of your right leg, coming onto your horizon lunge. As you come into your horizon lunge, press down to lift up, right knee towards your chest, step one, lifting it up. Right knee towards your right tricep, step two, take it back. Step three, bringing your left hand down. Make sure both of your palms are pressing down. Make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. And then from here, you're gonna bend your elbow, look forward. You're gonna bring your right knee to your right tricep. You're gonna bring your left knee to your left tricep or outside, look forward. Draw your belly in towards your spine. And just like that, you're fine to your crow pose. Again, like I said, it is a little difficult then. Just coming into your crow pose, but it's always good to have fun. It's always good to learn new ways to come into a pose. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for taking your time out to learn how to fly into your crow pose with me today. And this can be just done after warming up your body, but you can also practice this after practicing any of my other vinyasas flow. And um, just have fun when you're doing it. 
So I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if there's any other poses or asanas you want to learn or learn how to transition into them. I will be more than happy to make contents like that. And I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.